photographer based out of Fort Worth, Texas. One of my favorite programs I found out about is called Blog Stomp. This program allows you to put your images together in creative collages for your blog. You're able to customize it so that it fits your needs and add your watermark. So I thought I would show you quickly exactly how I do this. Um, this is the setup. It's very easy to use, very user friendly, and um, has cut my blogging time by dozens of minutes per per blog post. And a wedding, I mean, it can cut your your blog time by 45 minutes plus if you are doing um, uh, or creating your own templates for each post and cropping photos and blah blah blah. So here is Blogstomp and I wanted to go through first in settings quickly and show you exactly how my settings are set up because I get a lot of questions about that. Um, one thing you can do is incorporate your watermark with a PNG I believe of your actual watermark. I have several different watermarks so mine's a little bit more tricky. Um, it took me a while to figure it out, but I got it. And there's a ton of videos on the web and on Blogstomp for you to view and learn how to do it easily. So I go to, um, let's look at styles. Okay, so I have my different, uh, I guess, templates or styles for each one, each way I want my watermark to be. And this is where my watermark comes to the left and this is normal. You can see it changing right here. And then this is when where my logo comes to the right. Um, so I don't want any tab height. You can see here's tab. Um, I don't want any stroke width, no framing. And I don't need rounded, rounded corners or stroke color or background, anything like that. What I do want is my image width to be 950 pixels. I want my background to be white. I do not want a border width at all. Um, I don't need it. But I do want a margin. And a margin is when you put two photos together, there is going to be some spacing. And I put mine at 10 pixels. So everything in my image is going to be 10 pixels apart. The other thing you may notice if you actually do have this program is I believe that same as border width is clicked automatically. Um, you can see right here on the default. So make sure to unclick it and you can change the margin as you want. And then here's where you download or include your logo and you have to go find it on your hard drive and I believe they tell you exactly what kind of format they need it in. I did a PNG and you can specify where you want it locked on each one. So there's that one, that one, and that one. And I just, I'm able to move my things around. So output is whenever you are exporting it for the web. I always use ArdenPruka.com on all of my images so that if they are pinned, this is the default name that will come up on Pinterest. I always want my website to be part of it. Then I change the name. So this will be Brittany Maternity. And I always start with the number one. I want a 90% JPEG quality and I can figure my sharpening settings. I have mine. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can stretch this up. I don't know if you can see down here, but I have it at sharpen image at a little and my, my sharpening is at 25. You can see a slight difference in her face, how it's sharpened over here. It's a little bit softer over here. You definitely need to have those sharpening settings up more than just straight out of Photoshop so that they do look great on the web. I've had a lot of people say they can't figure out what settings to put it on. So again, mine is at 25. And you can play around with the slider to figure out what you like. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick run through of exactly how I do this. Um, I don't really touch any of this other stuff 
because it doesn't really apply to me, but it, it could apply to you. I haven't figured out how to set it up through my blog. So what I like to do is I like to do freestyle, and this allows me to collect, uh, excuse me, use uh, several images that I want to use. And so let's say I want all of these images. Well, over on the right side, you can see there are many different ways Blogstomp will put it together. And let's say I like this setup and I'm going to use this version of my watermark and I want to swap up the photos a little bit. You hit mix it up and it's going to start playing around with the different photos. I prefer this look because I like the black and white and color kind of mixed up. Not all the time, but I'm in the mood to do that right now. So then I move my watermark wherever I want it. Um, the only the only problem I see right now is if I wanted to swap my logo to, let's say, normal logo, it automatically brings me back to the default. So I have to go back and choose the, the template I was just on. So that's a little bit frustrating at times. I'm sure they'll tweak it out eventually. So if I wanted, this is my watermark. And then you hit stomp it takes all those images and it will take them out of your library over here and put them in the stomped folder wherever you have decided that that goes. Mine's on the desktop. Um, I didn't mention that I imported these photos. Very easy step that I didn't mention. Um, so I just go through my entire session and stomp them and then they are ready for uploading. One thing I will say is uh, it's not user friendly with huge chunks of photos so I do my weddings a portion at a time so I'll start with getting ready then I'll do details or first look then I'll do romantics and I have to import only those chunks at a time and then empty it or shut it down because sometimes it has a habit of crashing if you're importing too many it just can't support those many big files and I like to import all of my images um, from my session so that I can just quickly do it. I don't have to go star them in Lightroom or Bridge or anything like that. I can just import all of them and go from there. So I'll show you one more. Let's say I want to do two verticals and a horizontal. Typically what I like to do is put the uh, verticals together. So over here you may see where it looks like this and you go, oh that's not how I want it. But I do want my two photos on top. All you have to do is hit mix it up until it gets where you want it and boom. I like that and I believe we should have one more option where it swaps. Put this up there and stop. This is how I use blog stomp. It is amazing for my business and blogging time. Cuts it in half. It's really not that expensive and I highly recommend it for anybody that does a lot of blogging. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much.